as developers, we spend more time reading and trying to understand existing code than we do writing new code. Let's look at some examples of how JetBrains AI Assistant can help us understand code. When looking at a new project, we might have to figure out what the project does. We can start by asking a question, like, what does this project do? AI Assistant may answer this question directly or suggest where to look in the project. We can continue the conversation and say, please get the relevant files. Or we can edit the prompt to ask to find the right files. When we edit the prompt, the history below that message will be deleted. AI Assistant searches for the relevant files and provides a summary of the project. The answer is streamed because that's how LLMs work. Note that we can also use commands and mentions in the chat. We can add additional references to the prompt, like the current file or local changes, or any file or symbol in our project. For example, we can ask to explain the pet validator class to us by using the command slash explain and tagging the file pet validator. Click the paperclip in the prompt to see which files have been added to the context. We can continue the conversation, for example, by asking which validations are done in this file. An AI assistant will generate a summary for us. It's also possible to attach a database schema to enhance the quality of generated SQL queries within our schema's context. We can open the pet validator class to see which checks are actually done. If we have a specific section of code that we don't understand, we can ask AI Assistant to explain it to us. Select the relevant code, show intention actions, Alt-Enter, and open AI actions. There are multiple predefined actions available, including explain code, when we select Explain Code, a new chat with AI Assistant will open to explain this code. In this example, it includes annotations, parameters, an overview of the logic, and ends with a summary. As we've seen, the chat can be quite chatty. Sometimes the explanation is more verbose than the Java code. To get a quicker, more concise summary of what a class or function does, use AI Actions Write Documentation. This will write the Java doc for us, which is more concise than the explanation in the chat. We don't have to keep the documentation if we don't need it. We can also ask specific questions about a particular piece of code. We can select the code we want to use in our prompt, open AI actions, and start a new chat with selection. Note that the selected code will be inserted in the input field, and we can add our question about this code. For example, we can ask which checks are performed here. AI Assistant will give us an overview of the checks that are performed in the code, and may also explain why these checks are useful. We might want to know why certain changes were made to the code, or as I like to call it, do a little bit of Git archaeology. Open Annotate with Git Blame to see when the code was last changed and as part of which commit. We can click the commit for the code we're interested in to navigate to this commit in the commit history. Right-click the commit to open the context menu and select Explain Commit with AI Assistant. This will open a new chat window with a summary of that commit. We can also look at the actual diff if we want to, but the summary of the commit might help us understand that diff better. We all know that naming things is hard, but good names can help make code easier to understand. If the code we're looking at is using names that aren't helpful, use refactor rename, shift F6 to change the name. AI generated suggestions may offer additional information about a method, variable, or class. We don't have to accept any of the suggestions. What if English is not our first language and we'd like AI Assistant to use a different language? It's possible to configure AI Assistant to use a language other than English in the settings. Go to Tools, AI Assistant, select Natural Language, and specify which language to use. For example, I might set it to Dutch. Fixing errors can be frustrating, as not all error messages are equally helpful. If our application is throwing a runtime error, ask AI Assistant to explain that error. Now we no longer need to search for this error message in our favorite search engine, but we can stay in the IDE and get help. AI Assistant will help us to understand the error message and suggest fixes. In this example, the error is thrown intentionally. If the code we select is a regex, we can ask AI Assistant to explain it to us. Open AI Actions and select Explain Regex Fragment this will open a new chat where AI Assistant will explain the selected regex. AI Assistant can also explain cron expressions. Open AI Assistant at the cron expression and select Explain Cron Fragment 
to have AI Assistant explain the cron expression in a new chat window. Let me know which feature you like the most in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss our next videos. Happy coding!